So our production process here at Rickshaw is based on lean manufacturing techniques and really all lean manufacturing is is making products in a very sequential process so that it's a nice smooth flow. It's called continuous flow. So this is our product development area here. We've got a variety of sewing machines and this is where we do prototypes and revisions of prototypes. It's very old fashioned. We, we don't work in CAD on these. We work with paper and pencil. Once we have a design that we want to commit to production, we will take these patterns and translate them to a digital file that we can load into our laser cutter. Now this is uh, actually really important in our custom business here because we can change the design just slightly. We just put that design into the computer so if someone comes along and says, oh I want a MacBook Air 11 inch laptop sleeve, we just come over here, put in that code for that pattern and then we cut that pattern. These digital tools are really important because they allow us to minimize the amount of labor required in production. We'll introduce a product, we'll just make batches of them. Matter of fact, some of our products we don't make so many of, we just make them in our prototype area. But when we start making things, you know, 50 to 100 a day, then they have to go into a, a lean manufacturing process. So it's really driven by volume. We don't immediately go, okay, let's build a production line for this. We kind of wait and see if the demand is going to warrant that. So uh, we're here at our production line, okay, and what you see here is a U-shaped arrangement of machines. Think about this as a one-way street with a bunch of stop signs, okay? At every intersection is a machine and the product stops at that intersection, has an operation done on it, then moves on to the next intersection. The important thing here is that if I have a really expensive machine that's needed at two different places in the process, I cannot stop you know, and come back to that machine. I have to buy another machine and put it in the process. There's no going backwards here. This is a one-way street. It's equipment intensive, but it's labor efficient. Labor is very expensive. Matter of fact, in San Francisco, we have the highest minimum wage in the United States. We also have some of the highest real estate costs in the United States. So it's really important that this factory run efficiently from space utilization, the real estate, and labor utilization, how much labor goes into every product. We design our process to take advantage of the machines that we have, uh, to take advantage of the expertise that we have, and then, you know, as time goes on, we might try something new.